all right guys welcome back to another video today we are going to solve that little guy there the problem with that guy is it's a fusible link and once it pops the vehicle or the jet ski won't start and if you're out there that's gonna suck there's one there for the rear battery and there's one there for the front battery this is what i picked up from amazon i'll leave a link in the description this is what it looks like inside all right so this is what it is it's supposed to be a waterproof or resistant there's a uh, some silicone seals right there and it's resettable and it's 50 amp which from all my research those are rated at 50 amps here's the plan i'm going to put a butt connector in between here so i'm going to cut this out and so that if i'm out on the ocean you know this is accessible up front so i'm going to put the butt connector there and for this line i'm going to put it somewhere up here so i can reach it and then on this one i'll be able to reach so i'll just put that one there that should do it so let's get started what i did was i cut the sheathing a little cover off of this this is where i'll be installing that fuse and this one i'm just going to remove and put the fuse in its place so now let's get this cut out and put a butt connector between the two so what we're using here is a shrink wrap whatever you want to call it uh, butt connector this could be melted and it seals and bonds it i got these from harbor freight you can get them online as well so there we have the cut i'm going to join those with the butt connector all right got the butt connector on there now i'm gonna use the lighter to melt that all right i got that all shrunk so it's all sealed tight now right here we'll install the circuit breaker how these work is these these unscrew off of here you get the uh allen set screw put the wire in tighten it put the wire uh, put this through the wire once you tighten it on there you can put this back on and screw it together and that locks it in and then that's that's uh, on that's off there's the finished product if it pops just snap it back in place it's kind of a new discovery when I'm looking at changing this first of all it's a pretty tight area but I'm looking to see where this power wire goes and I'm following it and it goes straight into this loom right here. So by having this here, I don't know why they had a feasible link here and one in back, but this just goes from here down to the second battery. So we don't need two. So I'm just gonna butt connector this together. See how that goes, it's pretty tight. News update. If you see way down there, there's another one of those stupid fusible links. And that's the one that starts the uh, jet ski. That means I'm gonna have to take the whole battery out just to access it. Here's a little hack I just found out. I wanna carry all the necessary fuses and there's only three spots under the cap. See the, the fuses are directional this way? Well, the ones that you see this way, they're actually fitting into these little tiny, I don't know what you call it, just a little slot. So that's like extra storage. Put them in there like that. I mean, there's tons of spaces. One in the back. So now I have plenty of extra fuses. I do want to get this relay. This one's for the live well, but this relay, the actual relay to start the ignition, and I want to get one. So I plan on ordering one online, just typing this into Amazon, you'll, you'll pick it up. I'm not going to take the battery out. It's just too much work unless I really had to but that fusible link way down there, I've finally traced it and it's actually, if you look right here, this, this wire right here branches off from a big wire and then a small wire all in this little underneath the sheathing. So I'm gonna clip the small wire somewhere down here and bring it up here and bring the fusible link wire up here and I'm gonna have the, uh, the new circuit breaker up here where I can get to it. Here's what I did. I cut the wire above the fusible link, so now that is to the wiring harness. And I pulled this from down below, 
I'm gonna cut here, put the circuit breaker in, and then we should be good. Here she is, all installed, accessible, and so now I have no more fusible links. So, just a little bit safer.